of my recording. Hey everybody, it's Omega Dragon, and welcome back for some more Pokemon X version. Off screen, when I was trying to record this, I raged so much because of the camera. This game is not a rage game, and the camera was the one that I raged about. But anyways, in this part, in the last part, we... I introduced you guys to the Battle Chateau and what it's all about, and the titles that you earn after completing each and every one. Well, after completing each and every title. And it's pretty good the higher your titles are. So, this time in Pokemon X version, I am going to do a rival battle. But hopefully, before that, encounter one of the Pokemon that I actually enjoy seeing. And that Pokemon is a Spritzy. But after I get this, the X Special Defense. Now, off screen in the camera, I understood why it was like that, even though I raised so much of understanding it. And it was it was because of the brightness on my 3DS, not on my phone. Let's hope this is a Smeargle at least. Nope, it's a Swirlix. Not a, not a Spritzy, I forgot. Spritzy was on Y version. So this is why I wanted to catch. And of course, Zoe has leveled up to level 18 off screen. Dang it, now it's getting hard for me to reach. Dang it, this is why I want... This is why I should have got out my stylus. Before recording. Because then I can reach better. Is it. Dang it! Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it! There we go. I just figured out that my camera was good barely read, so I figured out why and, and I've solved the problem. So anyways. So anyways, sorry. I'm going to use Bunnelby for this because Bunnelby is the weaker level of them all. And... I don't know. I'm thinking... Jeez, I don't know what I'm, what I'm saying. So anyways, I'm thinking of not letting... Eesh, the color on the 3S here. Is it because of my camera? If you're wondering why there is... That weird color on the camera right here. That's not because I've gotten shiny Pokemon all over the place. That's because I've beaten up my phone pretty much too much. Dang it! Come on! I'm having the worst luck with my camera. First things first, I beat it up my phone's camera because of it being stupid. But then, the, but then now, the phone's... The hammer's color is wonky because of me doing that, and also because of I don't know of my phone falling down. I don't know. I'm so dumb. So, anyways, now I'm going to use double slap against this Swirlix. Hopefully, it won't faint. But what am I worried about? Because it might up just did a tiny bit of damage. Eh, I shouldn't have worried. I, when I saw round, I thought Bunnelby was going to faint a little bit there. Now it's time for takedown. Dang it. That's Rolex is defensive. I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and do takedown one more time, and then I'm going to 
use Muzz Slap, and then catch it. I'm trying to calm down with my banana smoothie. Eee! You're using fake tears. So now I'm going to use a Pokeball. Good thing is I have six left. Hopefully it catches. I'm going to count. One, two, three. Get caught. So that was all I was hoping to catch, but there was also a smear gold I was hoping to catch. Because it knows to move sketch. And sketch is a move where it copies the user's a user's move and keeps that move. <laughs> I'm not gonna nickname Swarlex because I'm not going to put it in my team. Anyways, I'm going to encounter one more Pokemon before I get into the rival battle. And that's a Smeargle. Right as soon as I was hoping it would be a Pokemon, that's what it is. So first things first, I'm going to do something sort of odd. I'm going to catch it right away in a pre Premier Ball. This never works, so I'm trying to send this. One. Uh, yep. And right there, I was trying to use Sketch, but now that it, the PP of Sketch ran out, it's going to use Druggle. That's why I was hoping to catch Smeargle. That's why I was hoping to let it waste its move Sketch, because it uses Druggle, which causes recoil damage. So first I'm going to use Tackle, and then I'm going to catch it. Because then, it uses Struggle. And I would have, I have like, four chances for me to catch this. I have two Ultra Balls, but I'm not going to use them. Hopefully this works. Not even a Wabble Jabble. Uh oh. Now I'm ho now I'm going to hope that a great ball will catch you. I'm de I am definitely I'm definitely regretting this, but I'm doing it anyway. One, two, uh, no! Well, there we go. It's gone. Well, goodbye Smeargle, now you know what it looks like. If you all don't mind, I'd like to have a Pokemon battle with everyone. Now, how should we pair up? Hmm. Let's go with Tierno and Trevor against Big O and me. Well, if you say no, then she will let you set up, because she understands. So I'm going to say yes because I am all set up. It's, this is our first tag battle. So let's make it a good one. Tierno is using Corphish while Trevor is using Pikachu. And I normally like using Pikachu against Pikachu. And that's what I did before. But instead, I am actually going to let Bunnelby go in the battle because... One, it knows Mud Slap, and two, it's the lowest level Pokemon. I'm hoping Bunnelby doesn't faint right after I chose that. Pikachu uses Thunder Shock against Fletchling, and Corphis uses. After Fletchling uses Growl on Corphis and Pikachu, it uses Vice Grip on Bunnelby. Oh crap. 
Holy mackerel. Um, now I'm going to use, sorry about the status being in the way. I'm going to use a potion. Oh, and I should have shown my orange berries. I'll show you guys that after I have this tag battle. Muzzling uses quick attack against the Corphish, and Pikachu uses Thundershock against me! Fletchling is gone. So now Serena's next Pokemon is going to be Brakeson. Brakeson is the evolved form of Fennekin. It evolved on the exact level of 16. And what's odd is that Oh, never mind. I was going to say what the odd thing was, was that my Chespin didn't evolve, but of course I didn't even use Chespin. I'm using Squirtle and it did evolve. So, I'm going to use Mud Slap against Pikachu. Oh, uh, you should have not used a status hit. I'm going to use Mud Slap on Pikachu. Brayton's using Ember against Pikachu. And... Let's see how much damage Buzz Slap does. Not as much, but the lowers the accuracy at least. Don't fight, please. Oh, good. <laughs> uh, this is awkward. Hold on. I'm not going to use Bumblebee anymore. I'm going to use... Let's use Zoe again. Zoe's my special Pokemon and it never lost. Thank goodness it didn't. Thank goodness it didn't get paralyzed. Ah! Oh, poor Brakeson. I wonder why Corphis isn't using Wire Gun. I know it knows that move, but it's not using it. Uh, I'm going to use Headbutt against Corphis, and hopefully Brakeson would break the paral paralysis and get Pikachu. This is lasting longer than Oh no. Than I thought. Please! Oh, jeez, I'm so scared! And why did you use Ember against a Corphish? That was a bad move. I'm so. I'm pretty scared right now. I'm going to use Headbutt against Pikachu. No. I'm going to use pa Tackle against Pikachu. No, I don't even. Never mind, I'm going to use. A potion against my Zigzagoon, also known as Zoe. This spell is lasting longer than I thought because it's getting more worrisome. I was hoping that none of my pickup Pokemon would faint. Says the guy who actually, whose Bunnelby has lost lots of times. Alright, there we go. Now, Flabebe is TNL's second Pokemon. T Flabebe is a fairy type, you know, you know, and it goes Fine Whip, Flurry Wind, and probably Tackle. It probably knows something else, but I'm not very sure. Headbutt on Corphish. Still not enough. Okay, I guess that was smart. And that was smart too. Brakeson! I'm going to use Tackle on Corphish. And then that will be it. Goodbye, Corphish. Clacko clacker. Zoe Glue to level 19. I said Glue, not Grew. Oh, Zoe lost. Hold on. <sighs> Dang it. That was Zoe's first loss. If not, that was 
Yeah, that was the first loss. Uh, that was Zoe's first loss. I'm not going to heal Bundle B because I feel lucky. Feeling lucky, and that mud slap would make little baby miss. Even though it did tiny damage, which is terrible. Oh, come on! Now all of my pickup Pokemon lost. None of them had an item. So now Pikachu is going to battle because I want Pikachu to level up. Going to use Electro Ball on it to wrap it up. There we go. That would have ended things much more quickly, but I wanted to use my pickup Pokemon instead. And it was more amazing. Uh, you buddy? Yes. <laughs> Whoa, now that was a nice move. Oh, you... Well, it was more of a nice move because... It was more of a nice... Move off screen when I was battling you before because I used Pikachu. So I can't learn anything just from the sh Pokedex, I see. I thought... I almost thought he said shadows. Never mind. It sure is interesting to show how to see. I can't stop. To see how different each trainer's style is. Well, I guess I should head off to Embret Town then. I'm gonna heal. Be right back. Wild Pokemon I encounter this time. Swarlix once again. What an embarrassing mistake that I was trying to do. Oh well, I'd rather just fight Swirlix with Bunnelby. So... Yeah. Take down once more. Take down once more and then I'm going to use... Wow, never mind. I was going to say take down once more and then I'm going to use quick attack, but that was a critical hit. Level 18. And it wants to learn mud shot. Oh man. Wait, did it already know that? No, that was zigzag that was Zoe that that knows it. Oh mud shot, not mud slap. This is the difference. Mud slap is lower powered and it would lower accurate Wow. 20 power. I didn't even see that until now. 20 power move, which lowers the to target's accuracy. But now it wants to learn Mud Shot, and that lowers the target's speed. Of course I want to learn that instead of Mud Slap, because geez, how embarrassing that I didn't know that Mud Slap was 20 power. I should have let Bun Bunnelby learn that right before the rival battle started. Let's test that move against one of the Pokemon here. And that Pokemon is for the baby. Never mind, I'm not going to test it. Because I can already defeat you easily. With a double slap. You're the same level as Trevor's! Yeah, I can defeat you more easily than Swarlix. So another double slap and that'll be and that will be it. One, that was not a critical hit. Two, three. But baby fainted. And there we go. Ah oh, dang it. I thought I was gonna make it out of there. Should have bought a repel, but I didn't want Docklet! Oh, I forgot you were there. I forgot that you were encounterable. I'm going to catch you, of course. Because why can't I? And I'm going to use Pikachu against you. Of course, that would be a bad idea if I want to catch a Pokemon, but... I have a normal type move. So that's what I'm going to use. You're using Defog. 
Neat fog lowers the evasiveness, meaning that you well, you of course you know. Thunder wave. Now I'm going to use quick attack and it will work. Now I'm going to catch you. You're not using an attack move. I'm, I'm lucky. Uh, Pokeball. Dang it! It was paralyzed, but I shouldn't have underestimated it. I'm going to use a Premier Ball right after that. I'm hoping that the Premier Ball would have a better catch rate than the Pokeball. Ball. Yep, apparently you like white better than red. It makes sense because you don't like red water. You like clear, white, crystallized water. That doesn't make sense. Like as clear as white. <laughs> When attacked, it uses its feathers to splash water, escaping under cover of the spray. That's not what that's not what Ducklet did in Unova. It sprayed it sprayed wa it used water again and again Silen when it when it was grabbing the Pokemon. And also, Pansage was going to grab Oh whatever, I'm a fan. I'm a fan of Pokemon. Even a fan of the enemy. Anyways Now that I'm finally out, I'm going to finally get that item that was down below. Oh, and I probably shouldn't do it yet. I'm going to go down and then grab it. PP up. That's what I've been waiting so long to grab. Not going to use it yet, but I will use it sometime. So, the top cave, you may be wondering. This is called Connecting Cave. It's a shortcut to Salad City. The Ambrett Town shortcut is southwest, south, is southwest of here. And you're wondering, why can't you go to Salad City right away? Well, go in it. There is a blockage. Oh, wait. Oh, that's a trainer. How well have you raised your Pokemon? Let's have a battle, and I'll let you know. Oh, you're a Pokemon breeder. I probably should, should battle you. Oh, man, you, but you have four Pokemon. And how embarrassing I'm using Bunnelby. I should have used Pikachu. I'm going to use Pikachu instead of Bunnelby, because Bunnelby is both low on health, and also its mud slap wouldn't have an advantage. I still haven't shown you what mud slap does. Mud shot, not mud slap. You already know what mud slap does. Thunder shot. And you may be wondering, is Connecting Cave the first dungeon of the game? It is, but it's not that long. So you can call it a joke of a dungeon. The next Pokemon is Litleo, and I am going to switch. And I'm going to switch to Bunnelby. Why? Because I want to test Mudshot against Litleo. Guess what, I didn't say Mud Slap. <laughs> I'm hoping it, I'm hoping that Litleo's Ember doesn't make it faint though. Bam! Look at that. Now the speed is lowered. You are using Workout. Check out that strong attack move. Mud Slap would have done way less. I'm going to use Mud Shot one more time, and that will be it. Man, I really like that. Not u not using an attack move on my Bumblebee while well, I use Mud Slap. I mean Mud Shot. Jeez, I'm so dumb. 
Um, you're using a grass type, and I would use Tim against that. I will use Pikachu because one, Tim. Because one, I want Pikachu to level up, and also two, because Pikachu's Electro Ball will defeat Oddish pretty easily. Because look at the levels. Oh, no, it is not. Knew it. Now you're using Pikachu, and how much I love Pikachu versus Pikachu, I'm not going to use Pikachu. Why not? Because Bumblebee's Mud Shot might be able to one hit KO it. But I can't use I can't have any chances there, would I? Let's use it. Mud shot. Yep, it didn't one shot it, but check this out. Now it's using Growl. It doesn't it didn't even attack me yet. And I'm going to use Mud Slap Mud Shot. I can't talk anymore. I can't say stuff right anymore. Mud Shot. Once more. And you did attack me, but I still survived and I used Mud Shot on you. My bumblebee's the stronger one. Take that, Ash. <laughs> For saying that, for your Bumblebee, for your Pikachu being stronger than the Bumblebee, now my Bumblebee is stronger than the Pikachu. Prepare to lose against my Bumblebee. Because I'm not going to even let it evolve. Of course it should be Zoe, but I don't know. So here is one of the wild Pokemon that can be encountered in the cave. Meditite. I'm not going to use Bumblebee because Bumblebee is is weak on health and also it has a disadvantage. Because Meditite is a fighting and psychic type. So instead, I'm going to use Pikachu. And there we go. And besides, it's almost, it almost has a level. Let's see what type the hidden power is. If it's not very effective, then that means it's either electric or steel type. So now I'm going to use Thunder Wave. To paralyze it, and then use Quick Attack to weaken it. You're using hidden power again. Haven't you learned? Your hidden power is not very effective. It will take a lot of those for my Pikachu to faint. Oh wow. <clears throat> oh wow. Now you're using confusion, and that does cause confusion, but but it's like a 40% chance of that doing so. Psybeam. Another psychic type move causes like a 40, 40 or 50% chance of confusion as well. Let's hope that Pokeball will do, be a good fashion statement for you. I guess I actually think so. Because of your evolved form, thank goodness you got caught in the Pokeball. Bumblebee grew to level 19, and I'm not going to switch it just yet. So, I'm not going to name it. Another Pokemon that can be encountered is a Zubat. So, if you talk to this guy, oh dang it. Wismer. So, I'm going to use Bumblebee, and then I'm going to switch to Z Zoe. I don't want to call it by its Pokemon name, I just want to say its name, Zoe. Go Zoe. <clears throat> I'm going to use Headbutt 
to see if it flinches. Even if it didn't flinch, you used the wrong move. There we go. It's weakened enough. You use the wrong move again. I'm going to use a Pokeball and hopefully that will catch. I'm running out of Pokeballs now I think about it. Wismer was caught. Oh, and also Axie can be encountered, and Axie, I would recommend you catch it because its evolved forms are pretty strong. The only downside is their defense, no wait, their speed. Or maybe not their speed, but I don't know. So if you talk to this hiker, hmm? You want if you want to get to Embret Town, you best be off heading back to Route 7. Then take the other entrance to the cave. Yeah, that's what he will say. So you cannot go onward from this stone right here. That big rock. Because that big rock in the cave, you would have to use an HM move for. Uh yeah, I'll fight you. I'll fight you because my Pokemon, my Pokemon that are level 19 needs to level up to level 20 because after they level up to level 20, they will be part of the party of the level 20s. Then, then only Pikachu would be the one that needs to level up. This is what will annoy one of my favorite YouTubers. In Pokemon X and Y, you would have to encounter a lot of wild Pokemon in order for you to... Dang it! Zoe lost again! Let's hope Bunnelby wins. Let's use double slap. No, quick attack. Quick attack because that, that move always goes first. Unless another quick attack is used. Oh, dang it. There goes the blur on the camera. But then it wore off after like five seconds. Thank goodness I didn't encounter another wild Pokemon. So we've done a lot in this part, but I'm not going to cut it yet until I go inside this cave right here. Connecting cave, Zubat Roost. Please don't encounter another wild Pokemon, thank you. So I'm going to this researcher here. Is she a trainer? No, she is actually a healer. And that's where I will, there's more, that's where my cut off point will be for this part. Next time in Pokemon X version, we'll continue through this cave after I heal my Pokemon and buy some more Pokeballs. So I'll see you back here later. Bye!